my birthday is on Saturday and my friends sent me over this gorgeous edible arrangement. I cannot wait to open it. It looks so good, but so, so sweet of them. Okay, this is stunning. It's even better than flowers because you can eat it. <laughs> looks so good. just made it to Baltimore. I have a connecting flight and then I'm heading to Raleigh, but I got this really good chia pudding, or hopefully it's good, but um, I think the yogurt brand is from Coco June and I've really been wanting to try it and it looks really good. This was in those um, little like refrigerator vendors that has healthy food, so really excited to try this. literally about to start doing my morning routine, my morning skincare routine in the, ho in the airport. Is that weird? Probably. That's so extra, but whatever. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. I am going to do a quick recap, or try to at least. Luke and I were both in New York. His grandfather unfortunately just passed away, so I was there for a couple of days, and then today is Saturday, so flew back in to North Carolina. It's also my birthday, um, and my brother's also proposing to his girlfriend of like seven or eight years, so really exciting, but I'm in Raleigh right now, so I'm driving to Charlotte, which will take me about two and a half hours I'm um, gonna try to make it for the meetup at two and then we're gonna hang out some of my family came into town from Florida as well to surprise them and hang out so I'm really excited it's gonna be a really great time but on a time crunch um, Luke is still in New York he comes back on Monday and then tomorrow I go to Atlanta to see a couple of units that we really liked last time that we weren't able to see so gonna be a lot <laughs> but um, it'll all be worth it and we aren't going to Switzerland anymore so a lot to catch you up on but I only have a little bit of time and I still have to get ready and all that stuff so I will see you guys in Charlotte so I just listened to the recording and realized I didn't say that this whole trip of me going to Charlotte is a surprise to my brother. He thinks I'm in New York still. So that's going to be really fun. And it's going to be just a great time celebrating them. And like I said, we had to cancel our trip to Switzerland, which definitely is a bummer, but under the circumstances, it makes sense. And we're happy that we could spend time with Luke's family. And I'm happy that he's still there. Um, but yeah, a lot going on and it was honestly a blessing in disguise that we weren't able to go to Switzerland because we're also moving to Atlanta essentially next weekend. So it just, the world wasn't aligning itself for us to go to Switzerland. So here we are. But yeah, I'm 25. That feels crazy to say. Like 20 to 24 I would say you're pretty young but once you're 25 it's like okay you're, you're getting there you know I don't know what I'm saying but I'm sad Luke can't be here but it's a solo day for me and I'm gonna have fun I haven't been drinking for actually just a week and I don't know if I'm gonna drink tonight actually so we shall see maybe I'll get like one cocktail just to celebrate but all right, now I will see you guys in Charlotte. I feel like that was just a rushed intro, but we're back at it. I made it to Mooresville, so I'm gonna get some food real quick. I have a very low energy, I'm so tired. My flight this morning was at 6 a.m., so we woke up at 4.30 and then I got ready and drove, and I think I only fell asleep on the plane for maybe 20 minutes, not even, and then I 
didn't land until 10.30 and then I had to drive. Just a lot, <laughs> I'm complaining, but I'm grabbing some food because I think of the brewery that we're meeting at doesn't have any food. So I'm getting sushi from this place called Pisces and it's a incredible sushi spot in Lake Norman. So if you're ever in the area, you should definitely check it out. And it's funny because I'm a Pisces. Obviously my birthday is today, February 25th. And I just thought it was so fitting. I was like, okay, I want something healthy, but I also want something that's gonna be good, tasty, and I love sushi. So I thought it was very fitting for my birthday and I might as well treat myself. So I'm very plain what I get. I just get spicy tuna rolls and then like a miso soup. So definitely gonna show you guys. I'm gonna eat in the car. The hotel is two minutes down the street from the restaurant, the sushi spot. So gonna go quickly, change, get ready, and then drive to the plate. Here's the miso soup. It's probably one of the best miso soups. I mean, how can you really do a miso soup wrong? But this one's really good. And this is the real star of the show. It's kind of pathetic I'm eating my meal in the car but this is her she looks gorgeous and i'll probably finish the whole thing even though i usually only have one roll this looks so so good i'm literally in my car watching youtube and having my lunch and this ladies and gentlemen is what 25 looks like <laughs> I really apologize for most of this video being in the car, but that hit the spot. I have four pieces left, and I thought I was gonna be able to finish, but I'm not that hungry anymore after I ate like more than half. And I'm gonna give it to my parents, and I think they'll appreciate it. So, that's the plan. Gonna go um, to the, finally I'm going to the hotel. I have a little bit more energy. And it's all about changing your mindset. I feel like a lot of the times when you get down in the dumps and you're just not having a good day, it's how you frame every situation because at the end of the day, you can really turn around anything that's going on in your life and not saying everything has to be positive, but you can shift your mindset to find the good things rather than focusing on the negative. I know that is so, so hard and that really hit me this past week when Everything was not going our way, but I was able to find some silver linings. I got to go to my brother's engagement. I'm able to, or we're able to have more time with packing, finding a really awesome place that we love in Atlanta. So it sometimes it's just nice to take a, back, a step back from where you're at and know that it's not always about you. And so I think that's something that I've really had to think about. Like, it's not all about me every every second of the day and just to remind yourself how grateful you are to even just be where you are right now um, and life doesn't always go as planned but that's okay all right I'm gonna not get in a car accident and I'm going to literally okay bye
Sunday. I just woke up. It is 5.30, so I am heading out to Atlanta right now. I'm gonna maybe stop and get some breakfast or I might stop when I'm there, but we had a really fun time last night celebrating Christian and Brianna and it was just a lot of fun. So really glad I could make it and um, now I'm heading to tour some units, which I'm excited about, but definitely a little nervous. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we like it because literally next Wednesday is March 1st. So that's a little terrifying, but we'll see. <laughs> I just got to Atlanta and I stopped at Academy Coffee. It's in the middle of Virginia Highlands and it's about like a four minute drive from where I'm going. So it's really nice, really convenient. I got a bacon, egg and cheese on like a brioche roll and then I got a tea. Normally I only drink water and I still got water but I'm trying to try some new things and I already tasted it and it's really good so I'll show you guys but I'm laughing because I'm AG1, so Athletic Greens favorite fan, and I'm making mine in the car. So I brought this whole thing for our trip and I'm like, I have to drink it right now. You're supposed to drink it on an empty stomach. So I'm having it right now, even when I'm traveling. So hardcore fan over here. <laughs> So this is the sandwich I got and it's really cool. They put like shredded cheese on there and then a sauce and some spinach. Normally I get just a plain bacon, egg, and cheese. I didn't realize that everything else came on it, but I'm honestly just gonna try it. It looks really good. And then I got this tea. I forgot what it was called. It was like one of their special teas, but it looks really good and tastes very good. So I'm gonna try both of these right now. I have to send a picture to Luke because he's gonna be like, you're eating that, like so proud of me. Here is the tea. Again, it's Academy Coffee, really cute spot. They have like window seal seats. Really good. I'm so glad I got iced. Cheers. All right, I'm gonna try it with all the greens. I might take the spinach off, but we'll see. We will see. First bite. Mm hmm oh my god I'm more of a textured gal so that's kind of why I don't like a lot of stuff in my sandwich but this is really good I'm meeting this girl I forget her name but we're meeting at one of the properties and then we're going to two other ones so I'm gonna get videos on my phone and wish me luck I'm like kind of nervous I don't know why I just when someone's not there to look at a house with you you forget what to ask and all the main questions but it'll be all right i also wanted to say i know that these couple past weeks i've kind of explained our travels and how spontaneous and how everything is moving a mile a minute but i wanted to share with you guys because i finally wrote it down on my notes app truly how much we've been traveling just in the month of february literally february 1 we were in florida and I'll tell you guys about, okay, so February 1st, we were in Florida, then we went back to Raleigh, where we live right now, <laughs> and then we went to Wilmington, and then we went back to Raleigh, and then we went to New York for a couple days, then we went back to Raleigh, then we went to Charlotte for an engagement party, then we went to Atlanta to tour some spots, then we went back to Raleigh, then we went to New York to see Luke's family and for the wake and funeral then I flew back to Raleigh and then I drove to Charlotte for an engagement party and now I'm in Georgia seeing some other properties and then I'm going back to Raleigh if you guys kept up with that we've been to lots of places and I'm so thankful and grateful that we're even able to do that with our current jobs we both work from home and I'm not complaining but I'm just saying it's a lot and I am just ready for a routine and some normalcy and honestly like a workout schedule and a normal eating schedule and normally I have in the past been really strict about my diet 
which is not good and I've definitely gotten better with my relationship with food but this past trip I've been eating out so much and just so many carbs and that's totally fine I'm not saying it's a bad thing I'm just saying me personally I feel I'm feeling it like not even just my body but everything so yeah I really just am happy to get back to a home base for a little bit obviously we're moving but that's gonna be you know exciting and a new chapter in our lives and I also just miss Murphy <laughs> like he's been through all the travels with us and he couldn't come this past time because we were flying but you know all good things all happy times I mean not everything is happy but yeah I'm going to drive right now just to be there a little bit early to see the house and then after I see all the three properties I'm just gonna head home I'm ready <laughs> like I said but really have enjoyed taking you guys along too um, and even if it's come if nothing comes out of this I just love sharing what we do obviously you guys see it's insane and I want to document it. <laughs> so this is where I ate breakfast, but this is the little Virginia Highlands area. Are you happy that I'm back? I think you are because you're smiling right now. Oh, it is so nice to be back. <laughs> Murphy's just staring at me. Hold on. Are you staring at me? Well, I am going to get some food. <laughs> I'm going to get some 
La Santa, and if you're ever in the Raleigh area, it's the best, the best Mexican food in the area. And we won't be here for much longer, so I know I've had it so many times. And I should probably try another food, but no, no. It takes the cake, so I'm going to do that right now. I don't know why the lighting is like orange, but happy to be back. I just got my, my gosh, Murphy. Murphy, you gotta slow it down, honey. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I know. You gotta chill with the water. I just went to La Santa, picked up the barbacoa tacos, some beans, which are so, so good. <laughs> I think I've talked about them before, then salsa and chips. And I put the Murdoch for Murdoch Murders on Netflix. I guess this is a new series, like a short series, and I've always been interested in this case. So really interested to see how they um, talk about it. and. Luke's not like a huge fan of these kind of movies, so it's a perfect excuse to watch it by myself. But I'm going to end the vlog off here. Thank you so much. He's still drinking. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end the vlog off here. Thank you guys for coming along another hectic week or weekend in my life. Um, it was a lot of fun showing you around and kind of what I got up to. And hopefully there'll be more sanity in my life soon but the next couple weeks we'll be moving in so really excited to show you guys which apartment we choose and then where we live and what we do and everything all that stuff so thank you so much for watching i love you guys see you in the next vlog <laughs>